Hello there, Phil Ellis from Cleveland Software Design here with you today to show off a little something new. So this is my 12 position board, which a lot of you are pretty familiar with. However, it now has a new feature I wanted to show you. Every single component on this board can now be removed and easily replaced by just plugging a new component in. I'm going to be selling uh, these transistor uh, types that are high power capable and uh, high voltage capable too so you can easily swap out new ones uh, if you ever make a mistake and burn out any pieces in your board basically everything on this board can be removed and replaced for just a couple dollars uh, so it makes it so that you know really this board can last for as long as you want it to because all the pieces are easily removable or replaced there's uh, no risk of you actually burning something up if you do just swap it right out. No need to have a solder iron even to, to do that. So I thought I'd show this off. It's a great board. And uh, I'll just give you a rundown of where everything hooks up. So right here we've got our 12 volt power for the main board. So all the MOSFETs on the board. There's also a separate 12 volt power source for the shaker motor. So that you can power that separately if you like. Or run at a different voltage really easily. And then really just going around the board you've got your outputs. Uh, one through five right here as well as some kind of just convenience 12 volt uh, positive power ports then your output six through ten over on this side with again those convenience power ports and then your outputs 11 and 12 right here with 11 uh, just being a standard output that ties to this transistor and then 12 being the one that's hooked up to the shaker motor controller so you can tune the speed of your shaker motor you could also use it to adjust you know, the output to other devices if you wanted. And then along the inside front here are all your button inputs. So this starting on this left hand side here, this is your ground and then one through four and all the way up to number 14 on your output. And then on the bottom terminal here is there's actually there's actually uh, two additional pins now from the old board. So it's got your plunger inputs and I think you can see right there. It also has uh, PTE0 and PTC6 uh, on there so that you can hook up some other plungers. So I've had people hook up like the virtual uh, virtual pin plunger to my board and now it's a lot easier to do that with these, these outputs here. But then also for my plunger it's got the ground, the 3.3 and the wiper inputs which are this, those last three ports that you'll use for a standard potentiometer plunger. But you can also use these two other ports for other things too if you wanted to. And then of course I've got my expansion board port right here that you can plug in the expansion board and then from there you'll be able to plug in the light bar that I now sell or other things as well. So hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you guys later. Happy pinballing.